for the poem is called Truth Is. They came to sit and dangled their feet off the edge of the world. And after a while, they forgot everything but the good and true things they would do someday. Um, he he uses a marimba and vibraphone. Um, he, he, the instrumentation um, is uh, very homophonic because um, it's about you know a couple think about their future together, um, and he he wanted to portray them in, in, in the instrumentation. So the Marimba has an opening chorale that um, describes the scene of the edge of the world. The vibraphone has the main melody, which is the couple just sitting there thinking about their future together. <coughs> um, and the marimba uh, repeats that. And so we just have this really, this really great opening scene um, of just a couple sitting there together. Um, and the scene of the edge of the world. Um, around measure 19, the the lines of the marimba and the vibraphone um, I think that one's the same, <laughs> are are much more in sync. So we're we're seeing a lot of a lot of uh, tapering lines um, that probably that mostly starts in the vibraphone and then continues into the marimba, so that they're like a couple that um, they're very um, in tune with each other and they can finish each other's sentences. Um, the vibraphone has a short solo at measure 38, um, which describes the lines of like, they forgot everything. Um, so the, the worries that they've had before are now being released, so they're just thinking about the good and the true things, um, which um, is restated in the Marimba Corral. Um, and this time the, the vibraphone has the sex tablet um, underneath, so it creates a different texture um, from the opening, which is a, is a really great compositional aspect. Um, and then the, then the main melody in the beginning gets added to top the, the vibraphone's part. So we have, these, we have these really great layers in the music um, that um, make the, the, the tune and the theme of the poem very hopeful. Um, and then at the end, um, it's like it's like a camera that, that's panning away the scene. So we have these these little floating cords um, in the vibraphone and that's extending into the marimba. Um, and then they're all F major, and, and it finally ends with an F major chord in the marimba. And this is the mm -hmm. this is our fourth edge of the back.
I do. Uh, over so these three pieces were written over a period of eight years, I guess, two thousand one to two thousand nine. Yes. Two thousand one, two thousand seven, two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. What do you think keeps drawing Dr. Daughtry back to Mr. Andreas's writing? Um, I think because even though a lot of these a lot of these poems, um, they they they're very much about about life and um, the, I think also the artwork also like draws him to that because it. Like even though the pictures are very like quirky and they're very colorful, they're not always the same. Um, and as a composer, I think he's always like trying to think of new ideas. So I think that's what in inspires him. And he, he even said he, he's been a fan of his work for for so long. The, and your correspondence with Dr. Daughtry, did he mention like the visual element? Uh, I mean, it's it's not all that often to have a poet that actually yeah um, also is an artist and. Yeah, he he's mentioned that he he's had he has uh, several of his of his pieces around around his home in his in his office. So um, that's what's really interesting about um, about this music and this recital is that we're not only we are not only got the, the music aspects and the literature aspect, we also get visual art aspects. So it's a, it, it's a combination of, of three really good elements. <laughs> And at last, my last question sure. is, uh, in your correspondence with Dr. Daughtry, did he help with any of the analytical elements of what of, of getting into the music? And yeah, sort of um, because I, I, I previously mentioned, like I asked him like what um, inspired him, like especially with some of the poems that he's mentioned that he likes the, the poems that are about music or have um, a strong image. Um, uh, but with the analysis, like the... Uh, the yeah, he, he, has, he has given me... Um, <coughs> He has given me great analysis, especially especially on strange streams. Not so much on Almost Beyond and Edge of the World, um, but he he gave me a great link um, as why Brian Andrews is like his muse and, and um, why he why he chose these specific pieces. Okay. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm going to